Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our torpedo boat. As you guys can see right here, it is a torpedo boat because it has torpedoes on it. It also has a auto cannon at the rear, it has an auto cannon at the front. It also has auto cannon ammunition right there, it has machine guns, and it has a driver's seat. It also has a little cab on the inside right here, just in case you need to drive it on the inside and it also has an inside down here now what we're gonna do today is we're gonna work on the interior we're gonna add a toilet into this side we're gonna go to the other side and bring it this way we're then gonna add certain rooms in here I don't know what this is this shouldn't be here uh, but yeah we're gonna add some rooms inside of here like bunk beds and uh, a bunk room we're also gonna add a canteen and also a galley and hopefully that is all of the things that we need so let's get to it shall we Okie dokie, so first things first, let's go ahead and get rid of this wall. I don't know how we've managed to build this wall in here, but it needs to go. So let's go ahead and delete all of those guys and replace the roof with this. There we go, awesome. So, now I need to figure out where the beds and stuff will actually go, because honestly, I don't really know. The fuel is actually inside of here right now. We're going to go ahead and fill this in. There we go, good. We're then going to go ahead and fill this guy in all the way to there, and that is going to be awesome. We're going to do this as well, right here, uh, if we can, and all the way down to there, and then all the way up to there. Awesome. Right, now that we've done that, what else do we actually need to do? Well, this is going to be our toilet slash shower room, so let's go ahead and fill this in, right there, and try and figure out how to make it a toilet shower room. I don't really know. I actually really don't know. So we're going to make the floor um, look a little bit nicer, I guess. So let's go ahead and do these. Uh, all the way backwards to there, very good. And then we're going to do a different color all the way in here as well. Check a plate it, and hopefully it doesn't look like a kitchen. Hopefully it looks like a bathroom. Is it going to? I don't know. Uh, right, go around the outsides like this also. Good. And hopefully it does end up looking like a bathroom. I'm not sure it will, though. We'll see. All right, there we go. All of that in there. All of this in here. And that is fantastic. Okay. So what does a bathroom actually need? I guess it needs a toilet. That is somewhat important. A toilet. And also a shower. So a toilet and shower setup would be awesome. Uh, whether we're going to be able to do that or not, I don't know. But just whack that in there like so. Go ahead and paint the back side so it looks like it is a toilet, and we'll actually make it all white. Yeah. Alright, bam bam, bam bam, good. Go ahead and fill in the rest of these guys, and the back side to make it look like a toilet. Which it does. Nice. Alright, the bottom of the toilet is going to be blue because water, and we're going to have to add a shower in here somewhere as well, for reasons unknown. So, window. Kind of important in this situation. We need a window. Um, and essentially this is going to go here, like this. So one, two, uh, that's fine, we'll just leave it as two. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a spotlight, uh, which is actually going to work as our shower. Uh, whether this will actually look okay or not, I'm not sure, but let's go and whack that there. And honestly, that looks okay to me. Yeah. Okay, so bathroom sort of done. Let's go ahead and add a little light right above the shower, which is, again, a little bit strange, but it will work out for us, hopefully. Um, is that actually in the deck? Luckily, it's not. That's quite good, actually. Luckily, it's not actually in the deck. So we can put that right there. We can then go ahead and paint this, and the light itself is going to be bluish. Bluish. I want it quite light, actually. So let's go with this. There we go. Nice. So that's going to be the light in the bathroom. I think that works. It looks okay. Okay, so now it's time to actually put some lights inside of here as well, uh, which is our engine room. Let's go ahead and delete some bits and uh, add some lights in there. So, where is it? Where was that hole? Okay, there. So, we're going to bring it in about three. That's good. We'll do the same from this side. One, two, three. Bam. And then we'll do three again. Actually, we'll do five. One, two, three, four, five. Bam. And then one, two, three, four, five. Bam. Okay, that seems like enough space to me, so let's go ahead and smash in some lights on both sides, and that is going to be our lighting for this room. Excellent! Yes, paint this, paint this, paint this, and paint this. Go ahead and change the color of the lights themselves to these guys, and they're going to be quite bright. Okay, good. Yeah, that's not too terrible. Not too terrible at all. Have I managed to change the color of this? No. I can't actually seem to change the color of this. Oh, is that because I wasn't trying to? Yeah, it might be that, actually. That might be the thing that stops us from changing the color of it. 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. Okay, awesome. So we got our lights inside the engine room now. I might actually add checker plate down here as well. I think it's quite a nice place for it, so that's probably what we'll do there. And then we need to figure out what to do with this area, because I don't know. Okay, so this bit right here, we're actually just going to go ahead and add some equipment to. Uh, we'll leave those guys in there and we'll just start adding some equipment. I don't really know what kind of equipment we're going to add, but uh, we need some. So, let's get ourselves, uh, first and foremost, a fire extinguisher. They are very important. We're then going to grab ourselves a welder, just one, there we go, awesome. And on the other side, we're going to add first aid kits, one, two, and three. Bam. I might be doing this too often, but like, I, I, we kind of need all of this, so that's fine. Right here, we're going to have a heater, because at the minute we don't have any. So let's go ahead and smash that into there, and... I think that'll heat up pretty much everything except from when we get to the front. So we'll have another heater there, and then in the rear, we're gonna have another heater right here just in case we need it. Do we need it? Probably not, but there you go. Okay, so next thing, I'm actually gonna go ahead and change the floor color downstairs to something along the lines of this. So we could go ahead and jug that just like so, and that should make things look a little bit nicer, I would assume. Uh, and it definitely does. I'm also gonna delete these guys on both sides. We're going to have fire extinguishers on both sides as well, uh, because, I don't know, it kind of needs it, so we'll just whack it in. Uh, we get it in the right color, fire extinguishers there, and I guess a fire extinguisher on the other side. I think that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so, as for around this corner, what do we need in there? Well, um, firefighting equipment would actually be pretty nice, so let's go ahead and smack one of those in. And then above the firefighting equipment, I guess we need some other stuff. So I'm going to delete that guy right there, and we're going to add some more things. What should they be? I actually don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Maybe just some, like, spare hoses, uh, like this. There we go. Okay, that fits. Gonna delete that guy and that guy. We're then gonna replace it with this one and this one, and there we go. That doesn't look too shabby. Okay, so, what do I actually want to work on next? Well, I think the beds should actually be our next port of call, so let's go ahead and have a little look at the beds and figure out what we actually want on this. So, uh, I kind of want them side by side, so if I could fit them side by side, that'd be great. But I want a little bit of room in between so we can actually walk through. Uh, this does allow us that, but uh, it doesn't quite work the way we need it to. So I want bunk beds if I can. Unfortunately, not really a thing that we can do unless I deleted the whole floor. And that means the bunk beds themselves would actually have to go back here. Which I guess does work. So if we do one there and we do one here, that would work fine. However, we need it a little bit out just so that we can actually walk through. Uh, from the outside, so we need to be able to get into the room. That's fine. Okay, so beds are going to be in their own little area type thing, and they're going to go right there. That's fine. I mean, beds, they fit. Uh, unfortunately, you do have to go through the bed area to get to the galley and also the kitchen, but that's, that's okay, I think. Okay, so a door would add to privacy, so I'm going to go ahead and smash a door on there, right there like that. So we're then going to go ahead and do a door here as well. Uh, pretty much the same way around, that's okay, and whack this onto here, if at all possible, which it is. So there we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete this little area. We're going to go ahead and do this instead, and that's going to allow us a little tiny bit more room, and that should be fine. We now need a kitchen in the front end, we need some seats in the back end, and that's just how it's going to be. In fact, the seats on this area are just going to go right here like this, and we're going to have quite a few of them. Seat. Okay, and they're just going to go ahead and allow us to sit right there, like, pretty much like that. There we go. Okay, so do this, and this, one, two, and do this, and this, one, two, and then add some um, tanks for some, a uh, little bit of ETCT area. ETCT area, what am I talking about? That's going to go there, that's going to go there, and that's going to go there. We're then going to do it again, and again, and again, uh, in order to make this work. Turn it around, whack it in. Bam. Manifolds are the next things we need. We're just going to go ahead and smash that onto there. And these are going to look like actual seats. Which I think is cool. So there you go. Bosh. Nice. We've got some actual seats in here. Uh, then what we're going to do is change the color of them to be brown. Yep. All of these are going to be brown. And all of these are going to be brown. And all of this is actually going to be brown too. Uh, whether it should be or shouldn't be, I don't know. But I think it works. I think it's fine, so it is. Alright, there we go. Bosh. Nice. Okay, so seating is in. Now, little tables would be awesome, but I don't know how I'm going to do that, to be honest. So, um, I might not be able to, but we'll just go ahead and whack this under here like this for now. We'll go ahead and do something like this. 
One, two, maybe even three. There we go. And do this as well. And then do that. Get ourselves some windows. And these are going to be our little tables. I don't think they're going to be quite big enough, but one, two, three, and four. I mean, it it fits, and if it fits, it sits, and if it sits, it stays. Yeah! Okay, I can't actually add these in a little any deeper, so they're just going to have to stay like that, which isn't the best. I'm not going to lie, that isn't quite how I wanted it to look, but it is how it looks, so that's how it's going to stay looking. All right, let's go ahead and attach this under here, and also the ground. All right, there we go. Attach that to there. Attach this to here. And then the floor, and there we go. Okay, it might look a little bit strange, but I think it's fine. Okay, so this area can't really stay like this, so I'm going to go ahead and build this guy uh, out like so. It's going to come out to about here, and we're going to do this all the way into about here, and then we're going to go ahead and seal this off right there. Okay, adds a little bit of a step, but that's fine. This could be our stove, and hopefully that'll be okay. Um, whether it will be or whether it won't be, I'm unsure, but we can just go ahead and get, get away with this. There we go. Actually, let's push it in one. Delete that guy, and fill this in, and then add a window across the front in black, and then get ourselves a heater that could go right behind that. Okay, here we go. Smash it in, there we go, awesome. Uh, we can then just have the hob be like a two hob, that's fine. And we'll just go ahead and do uh, this. Bam, those are our burners, that's fine. Go ahead and make it a different color on the top. Ba -ba 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 -bum. And this bit right here. Okay, stove in, excellent. Now we need like a sink and also a fridge. Luckily, we can make the fridge out of this door, or out of this wall. Uh, we can have fridge on one side, freezer on the other side, that'll be fine. They're gonna be white. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, that's all good. We'll add a handle to each of these and That'll be a-okay. I know it's not the best looking thing in the world But if we have it on both sides, I think it'll make it look a lot nicer So smash that onto there and actually the fridge will go up to the roof Bosh there we go. So fridges on both sides cooker at the end um, Do I have enough room here for like a sink to go inside there? I think I do Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and put a sink in uh, on the inside of this wall, which is a little bit strange, um, but it will work. So whack that there, fill in the top, and fill in this little bit right here. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay, so uh, gray, gray, and gray, and gray, and gray. Okay. We've added... Oh, I can't actually... That's a bit annoying. That is a little bit annoying, but if I do this, and then add some other stuff, we might be okay. So, what other stuff do I actually want? A pipe? Maybe. Uh, like this. And there, there we go. We can have like hot and cold, so let's go ahead and paint them red and blue. And, I don't know, I think that's probably it. We'll just leave that like that. It's kind of an ugly kitchen, not gonna lie. I have done this on both sides, which I kind of didn't want to do. So let's go ahead and just add another shelf in here. And that'll be fine. Okay, so we got, um... Sink right there, which looks kind of ugly, not gonna lie. We've got a stove, and we have a shelf, we have a fridge and a freezer, and then we have the ET area, we have a bedding area, we have a little bit of an equipment area, and we have a toilet slash shower. We also have an engine room. Okay, we've added quite a lot to this uh, that I wasn't expecting to do all of it today, but there you go. Uh, so, now that we've done this, I'm gonna try and get checkerboard patterns for the floor, so I'll do that, and then I'll add lights in, and then we'll see how it looks afterwards. Okay, so I've added some lights. I actually added a button for these lights as well, which is uh, fine. However, the button is literally to control all of the downstairs lights. Whether you want to do that or not, I guess you probably wouldn't. Uh, we also need a light in here as well, because I don't currently have one. Uh, the door... Doesn't open. This door also doesn't open, but this one does. And it all, all, they all open the wrong way. Okay, I need to fix this. Okay, let's see if it works now. I need to actually get into the boat though. There we go. Excellent. Go down the stairs, turn the lights on again, walk into the engine room. There we go. This time it works. So we got our engines here. I might actually add some welders and stuff in here as well. Obviously, we have the fire extinguishers, uh, but this doesn't look too shabby. It, it sort of works. That's okay. All right, if we go in this way. Uh, okay. Yeah, the doors are going to be a pain in the butt, aren't they? I might just add slidey doors for these ones. It doesn't have to look like this. Yeah, because I can't actually squeeze through this little area. It's not going to work. That is not going to work for me. 
Um, but yeah, if I did get past these, just like like that, there you go, uh, very easily. <laughs> uh, we've got an equipment room right here, we've got a bunch of equipment. You do actually have to like squeeze down the side of this and get into this way, which is our bedroom, and then if we go this way, we get our little eating area and our kitchen. I think that's fine. I'm not very good with interiors, as you guys can probably tell, but that's okay. So, um, yeah, I think this is okay. I just need to change this door into a slidey door, the door in the bath uh, bathroom into a slidey door as well, and that'll be good. Okay, so, delete this, yes, and then delete, uh, two more, I think, yeah, I think they're about that big. Doors, let's go ahead and have a little look, and, uh, these ones, slidey door. Okay, so turn it over, turn it over again, whack it on there, and there we go. So we can slide the doors open, and they will work. Nice, okay, I'm happy with this. So now we have an interior, brilliant. Uh, the only other thing that was asked for by, um, who, was, who actually asked for it? One second. I believe it was Operator Viper. They actually asked for a, like, a little bit of a, a roof on the outside uh, thingamabobby. Now, I don't know what this will look like if I did add a roof, and I kind of don't want to. However, I will do it to see what it looks like, um, because reasons. But let's go ahead and attach that to there like that. I don't really know how I'm going to do this, but let's go with this. And let's go with this. I'm only going to put a roof over the driver because the gunner still needs to be able to shoot, which I think makes sense. Uh, so we're going to do something like this, but it is going to be in like canvas. So let's get like that color and see what we can do. So build this under here, do this. Delete that, send it this way. Uh, if possible, I don't know whether that's going to work, but sure. We're then going to go ahead and do this guy and we're going to go ahead and build it backwards to the back. Okay, which is going to go to about here, which we can then go ahead and delete these guys, whack this on, and see what that looks like. It looks a little bit strange, but I think it'll work. Actually, delete this. Delete that. I wanted that there, didn't I? That's where I actually wanted it. Okay, it looks a little bit weird, but we might be able to get away with this. Uh, if I then made the side pieces out of, I don't know, some sort of metal. There we go. And we did this piece the same. I think we can get away with it. I don't know whether I like it or whether we need to get rid of it, but for now, we'll keep it. It was asked for by a channel member, so you got it. There you go. I don't think I like it, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I like it, but I don't know. It also sort of fits a little bit as well. Um, it also gives us enough room to be in here and drive around, but... Yeah, I guess that's okay. All right, good. Well, anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. I think we are pretty much done with this, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we just need some lights on the outside, a little bit of extra detail on the outside, and then that's it. It's done. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.